Uh, hey, what up, people? I said I was gonna do this one here different. Yeah, man. I said I was gonna uh, let y'all watch the little video clip that I'ma talk about, and then I'ma talk about it. Yeah, man. So I'ma do this one here different. So check the video out and stay tuned for the, you know, what I gotta say. Yeah, man. War Phil. Crazy. It's named that. It just so happens, huh? I got the street name for people in combat mode. A busy morning for the New Orleans Police Department. Several people running from the scene of a shooting. It's scary because it's just getting worse and worse. You can see the bullet holes still in the house. Well, right now we're on Chef and Warfield, which is a house that I own. It's right over here, right in that area, right in the corner. This is where the kid got shot at 13 times. I thought he was dead. But luckily he wasn't dead. They revived him and right now he's somewhere living. I hope you see this. King, what's up, King? Yeah, so it's like a gift and a curse for me to be around there. Like my mom left me a house in the neighborhood on the corner. This hut right here. But it got shot up. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of murder around the house. Man, it's hot out here. My god brother was killed in front of his house, and that was next door to my house that I own. They really messed with me. Lou is his son. He ain't come to the funeral or nothing. Like, he was shook. My father passed away right here to keep it G. I'm numb with it. Numb with it. It's, it's like this. Either you go numb, or you become part of it. Right. Either way. Meaning either you become a killer, or you, you gonna get, get killed. killed. Or you just play the middle part and be numb. But this that gas. This that 93. This that rapper weed. To wake up and face your reality every day, it, it's scary sometimes, you know? And you gotta look it in the eye and swallow it. Cross is good. That's what it is, man. I hope everybody make it out of here. I know I'm trying to get it out of here, man. I got a lot of kids. I got twins and everything. I got twin boys. I got to get it out of here for them. Now, what I can say about this shit is that, uh, I'm going to say dude ain't, dude ain't lying about, about that shit, you hear me? Like, I even talk about it in a song because I used to be uh, around there. Like, I didn't been in the checkerboard, the goose, and the gap, you hear me? Like, but I was hanging in the goose when I was older, you hear me? I'm talking about all of America, Wolfville, all that shit, you hear me? Uh, like, we used to call this shit, uh, where we used to be. We used to call that shit, uh, fuck. We used to call that shit Harlem, you hear me? Around this little, little set we was on out there in the Goose in the East, you hear me? For y'all that don't know, that's the East, you hear me? And uh, we used to call that shit Harlem. You know, nigga be like, where you at? I'm in Harlem. You already know where that's at. If you ain't know where that's at, then you wasn't one of us, you hear me? And, um, the niggas I was running with, <clears throat> Called, uh, like the Corleone family, they're calling itself, you hear me? And nigga had all, you know, was doing all kind of shit, you hear me? Pumping weed, pumping, you know, just doing all kind of shit. I'm gonna say that we were doing all kind of shit because it wasn't nothing we wasn't into, you hear me? And uh, I can see it go down out there though, yeah, it go down out there, you hear me? Like, and I'm saying that because. A lot of people didn't know the East to be on that, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I guess City always had like a, uh, that, that violent aura or whatever out there, but it just wasn't that turned up as it is, as it was after the projects and shit got tore down. Like after the projects and shit got tore down, like the whole city was turned up, you know what I'm saying? But the East really turned up because a lot of people migrated to the East, you hear me? And it was like, 
Now, it like if you if you really like that, then you gotta stand on shit. Cause nigga nigga coming and nigga doing you know doing what they know. You know what I'm saying? Nigga jacking niggas and shit like that. Nigga you know going with they move on niggas, trying to step on the little set. Them niggas like you know them niggas in the east already had this shit. How they operate out there? And so it was either you was going let a nigga take your shit or you was going nah, you ain't taking my shit. So it really turned up in that east, you hear me? And um, like I said, we was out there, you know, and we was doing us, you know what I'm saying? And uh, it was a lot of shit that transpired. Like my, uh, got a partner right now who's sitting in, he in the can right now. For knocking a nigga off, you hear me? Free two, you feel me? Free bro, free bro, you hear me? Like I see, he's sitting in the can. The nigga had uh, ratted on him, you hear me? And that shit was crazy because nigga told that boy, look, stay home, you hear me? I got this, you hear me? Dude, like, man, I'm, 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 I'm coming, you hear me? You know, nigga gotta handle this shit. Nigga, like, man, stay home. You got your kids, you got your family and shit, dog. You know, stay home, you ain't, don't, don't ride on this or whatever, you hear me? The nigga insists he won't go. So, bro go do his one too, you hear me? And uh, do tag alone or whatever. So, they do their thing, you know what I'm saying? And they had a little camera out there, but how the camera footage was, all you see is buku people running, you hear me? And, uh... But the uh, people, you know, the people got them after after like a, a couple of days or whatever. They get them or whatever. And you know what dude done? Started thinking about his family. Started thinking about, man, I got my kids and all this shit. So he told, you hear me? He told. But uh, bro ain't come out too bad for a murder. Bro ain't come out too bad. He uh, got 15 or whatever. So he'll be home, you hear me? But um like I said, we was into a lot of shit and a lot of shit transpired. Like niggas, you started seeing how niggas was niggas was on some snake shit. You hear me? Niggas wasn't really like who they was claiming to be and shit like that. Like they had this one nigga, you hear me? The nigga used to get the uh weed and shit from our Cali. And all that shit, the nigga was like, he fuck with P and all this type of shit, you hear me? But, what really put me on dude, where, I, where it was like I ain't like him, was because one day we in, uh we out there in Harlem and uh, he bring up my cousin's name. And the man that he brought my cousin's name up in was like, he was riding for him and shit like that. And so, he ain't knew that buddy was my cousin. And so... Like, I'm listening to this nigga say all this shit, like, yeah, woo, the woo. Cause, you hear me? That shit was fucked up, but shit. Nigga gonna handle this, nigga handle that. Like, handle what? You hear me? Like, I had to stop him. Like, you handle what? Man, you ain't, ain't nobody riding for that boy. Like, stop it, nigga. I know that's my little cousin, you hear me? He, oh, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, nigga, don't handle him, man. Like, man, cut it out, you hear me? Like, cut it out. I know what's going on with that, you hear me? And uh, I asked him about did he go to the funeral and shit like that. He talking about he went to the funeral, so I was like, well then, you know you ain't riding for nothing. You ain't you ain't did nothing. When I was in I was in jail, I called home and heard about what happened at the funeral. And yeah, you know I'm saying, so you a lie, nigga. You ain't you know what I'm saying. You talking like that was your nigga and all that, man. Stop it, nigga. That's my little cousin. You hear me? And so from there, I didn't like the nigga. You hear me? And so, I mean, for a nigga went with they move on that boy a couple of times, you hear me? I'm talking about all the couple ounces and shit, you hear me? And uh, that nigga ended up being scared of us, so he kind of distanced himself from us, you hear me? But we had caught up with the nigga like a, uh, probably, probably about a year later, you hear me? I remember we had, because uh, I ain't lying, the nigga was scared that niggas was going to kill him, you hear me? But, you know what I'm saying? Nigga wasn't wasting their energy on this dude. <clears throat> but he finally, uh, he finally agreed to meet a nigga at Dillard 
uh, at Dillon University. I guess he felt like it'll be a safe place there, you hear me? But around that time, nigga was like, you hear me? Nigga needed bread and shit, so a nigga was trying to go with the move on him again. You hear me? And we were trying to get us a QP about that boy. And he was like, he was gonna give it to us or whatever, you hear me? But he thought we had the bread, but you know, we, nah, we savage and shit, you hear me? So he come, he meet us, he bring this nigga with him, you hear me? I, I guess he, I guess he thought dude, like we wasn't gonna go with the move on him, cause he had dude with him, you hear me? Boy, stop it, boy, you and your partner, like we looking like both of y'all pussy, you hear me? So he tried to uh, stand tall in front of his pie. He like, yeah, all right, I'm going to give it to y'all, bro. But say, bro, we're on the real, bro. I need that money and all that, man. Nigga, give us that shit. We got you. You hear me? We got you. The fuck on. You hear me? The nigga got him out there. Ain't never, you hear me? He knew not to even much call for it or nothing. You hear me? Like, that's just the type of time we was on. You hear me? I'm talking about around that bitch, dog. Know, when I see everybody was strapped, everybody was strapped. And it was like, if you came through that room, you hear me? It could be your last motherfucking day, for real. Because I'm talking about around that time when we was out there in Harlem, it was like, it just, it just, it was like that, you hear me? It was like that, dog. And, uh, the nigga just wanted to be a part of something. That's how he ended up being in the position he got He got in, getting jacked and shit, you hear me? Like, I've always preached. If you know you not like that, stay away, you hear me? Don't try to be like that. Stay away because this shit real. And nigga will do you something, you hear me? Like, nigga will go with they move on you if nigga know you pussy, you hear me? So it ain't no sense in trying to act like you like that and all that shit because it's going to come out. You know what I'm saying? It's like sometimes nigga just go with the move just to see if you gonna stand up. You hear me? And when you don't, oh man, it's open season. You hear me? And uh, that was that was the case with dude. You know what I'm saying? I'm really trying hard not to say that nigga name. You hear me? Like for real. I'm really trying hard not to say his name. I really don't want to see nobody name because like I see this real shit. And uh, if motherfucker put two and two together. You never know what might happen, you hear me? Like, for real, I don't know who be watching my videos. People might be watching my videos or whatever. So I'm not trying to uh, say too much. I'm trying to say a lot without saying too much, if you understand what I'm saying, you hear me? Because, uh, like I said, that, that shit, there was a lot of shit going on around there. But uh, the basis of this was to, just, just to say, like, in that video, what dude was talking about on Warfield and all that shit like that, ain't no lie. Like, it really, it really do go down around there. And, uh, yeah, a lot of niggas got smoked and shit like that, you hear me? For real. For real. And so, and saying that is, like I always say, if you're not in the streets, stay out. If you is in the streets, be trying to find your way out. You hear me? For real. Because when the walls go to closing in on you, ooh we, Ooh we, man. Like you in some quicksand, you hear me? You can't even get out. You hear me? For real. You, you, you be struggling trying to get out. You can't get out. For real. So if you ain't in the street, stay out. If you is in the street, be trying to find your way out. You hear me? For real. Culture.